Hey everyone, I'm currently at Scioto Autobahn Metro Park. I'm still doing the Columbus Metro Parks 5K challenge with my friends. Pretty sure I'm in last place on this challenge. Most of them have done at least five Metro Parks already. Uh, this is my third one. They're here, Scioto Autobahn Metro Park. Uh, we're at the highest point. Uh, there's downtown Columbus. This park is pretty popular to watch the fireworks from on July 4th. That's the nature center ahead of us. Scioto Autobahn Metro Park does have a lot of nice features here. Obviously you saw the nature center, which is over on my right. It has an obstacle course, an outdoor obstacle course, which we'll be running past. It has that water tower to my left that you can see in the background. They can climb up about halfway, maybe a third of the way. It has the tallest freestanding climbing wall in the nation. We'll be running past that too. And this park also has a dog park, which is pretty popular. There's a, some swings so you can overlook everything. There's also some covered picnic areas, barbecue stations. It's pretty popular in the summer. Obviously no one's using these picnic areas because it's January. Even though there's no snow on the ground, it's about 40 degrees. So. Not too many people want to have a picnic right about now. Bathrooms, they do have flush toilets. I believe this is the Farbachi Ball, downtown Columbus. It's a pretty good view of it. We got some geese chasing after me. Uh, let's see if any of them have any poop that lands on us. To my right is the obstacle course. Several obstacles there, obviously right here. You have the wall behind it. It's the cargo net. I won't be doing it today. I'm trying to get a good time on this run. Yesterday it rained, so it's pretty muddy. I don't have to correct shoes for running in the dirt. I'm just making excuses. I'm already tired on this run. I don't need to be more tired and dirty. Like I said, more excuses. As you can see, no one else is using the obstacle course because it did rain a lot. To the left is the water tower and the climbing wall. I guess we'll go over there and check it out. To no one's surprise, there's no one climbing right now and no one's having a picnic down here either. Now before you climb, make sure you sign the climbing waivers. Climbing here, it is free. You just have to bring your own rope and your gear, your harness obviously, reddish flooring or this reddish ground, it is spongy, so if you fall, you won't get injured too bad. Now to get to the top, so you can set your rope, you go up through here, make sure you have your harness and you get clipped in to that guide wire to the top, and then you'll be able to walk yourself up to the top. Now we'll just go up to the top of this water tower. You can see the top of that climbing tower. Obviously there's the volleyball courts, playground. In the background, you can see downtown Columbus. And there's the obstacle course. Straight ahead is the nature center. There's also slack lining here at this park. There's two of them. I'm terrible at it. I don't practice it enough. To my right are the three volleyball courts. Obviously, they took the nets down because it's winter. Off to my right, where that uh, red roof is, is the dog park. Pretty popular. A lot of people take their dogs over there. Here's the access to the Greenway Trail. In the future, that Greenway Trail will connect all 19 metro parks and near future 20 metro parks. That greenway trail from here will go towards Scioto Mile and Ohio State Campus up the Olentangy Trail. In the future you'll be able to add hundreds of miles to that trail. So if you're into cycling 
it'll be an awesome trail in the future. Actually, it's an awesome trail now. It'll, it'll just be better in the future. This park is right up against the Scioto River. There is a boat launch where you can put in kayaks or your paddle boards and paddle downtown, which is kind of cool because you get to see downtown Columbus from a different perspective, from the water. How many people can actually say that? During the summer, there's a several festivals that go on and you've, you don't have to worry about parking if you bring a, a kayak or a paddle board because when you're downtown, there are several locations you can just park your kayak and paddle board along the river and during a festival, have lunch. And then when you're done, just get back on your paddle board and paddle back. And there's the nature center when I started my run. I'm glad to be done. It's a little cold out here, but with the running, I did warm up a little bit. The one nice thing about running in the cold, you don't see too many people out here. This park is pretty popular in the summer, but not so busy that you can't find a parking space. It's a lot of parking around here. And there's a lot of events that happen here too, just because you're in the heart of, heart of downtown and you're in a park, a beautiful park. Thanks for joining me on this run. Overall, I'm not feeling terrible. I think I am getting better. I've been trying to run more. I think doing this Columbus Metro Parks 5K with my friends is a good thing. It is making me get out here and I will have to visit all 19 parks. And visiting all these parks isn't a bad thing. It's fun. I'd be running these parks even if I wasn't doing this challenge. If you found this entertaining, press the like button. It does help me out and it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see future runs on mine at the other Metro Parks, press the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you think there's a place I should visit, comment down below. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. It's pizza time.